If you're like me in warming up to the Windows 8 Mail program, you do realize that there are still some issues that need to be resolved. One of the most irritating is having extra email addresses in your autocomplete dropdown. And unlike the Outlook client where you can just highlight the address and click on the X to delete that from your autocomplete list, there is no way to eliminate that single entry in the Windows 8 Mail program. But if you look at the web version here, you see in your list here, as you highlight it, there's an X next to each entry, and by simply clicking on that X, you delete that entry from your autocomplete list, uh, which is a very handy feature, which is in all other Outlook clients except the new Windows Mail client. So let's uh, go back, and we're going to go ahead and launch the Mail program starting from scratch here to take a look at what happens. So if we launch the Mail and you're in your inbox, you want to create a new email address. You click on the plus sign to create a new email. You click here to get your drop down, and then as you start typing, you'll get addresses like here's one I don't want in the middle because I started putting in the first initial of that and they did some suggestions. Well, I can't click on an X to get rid of it, so how do I do that? Well, we can sit there and do a lot of things. We can try to uh, get rid of it by saying click on and say remove, uh, but that doesn't really work. So if we start typing again, and there it is yet again, and if we try to do a control delete, shift delete, something, and nothing happens, there's no X, we can't get rid of that stupid address. So uh, we're going to use this interface, though, to do something a little bit convoluted to do that. We're going to go out to the address, and instead of using, right-clicking on it, and using the cut or remove function right here, we're going to actually use the C details as our first step. So uh, we're going to make sure you have the right one, but we're going to go ahead and say add this as a contact. We're going to make this a permanent contact, and that's important that we're going to save it as a new contact. And now it's in our address book. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to look back in our address book for that particular email address that we just created. So you have to scroll till you find it. And mine's down here, uh, right there. I'm going to say that. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on it. I'm going down to the corner and say delete. And as soon as it does, it, click on delete, it removes it from that list over there. Now, it's still in the email I created, but if I delete that and I start typing, it's gone from my dropdown. I only have two entries instead of three. So what's happened here? Well, I fooled the system. By putting it into my permanent contacts, it's taken it out of the autocomplete of the just suggested ones. And then once I delete it back out again, it's gone. It's no longer there. So until they fix this in the Windows 8 Mail and put that X in there, this is a great way with just a two-step process to get rid of those extra email addresses that you want to see when you start typing in email addresses. So enjoy this tip and pass it on to all your friends. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to, which is what this one's going to be under. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.